Hi, good morning. This is May Valensky with Driving Markets. Let's kick off. Let's have a look at what is driving markets today. Well, the big news out caught me on the hop, unaware, caught me off guard, was Fitch Rating Agency. Fitch Rating Agency has downgraded the US from AAA, AAA, to AA+, AA+. Plus. That is a downgrade of the US's credibility and credit status globally. Major, major news, major impact will have on financial markets, on bond markets, and on foreign exchange. This is significant. What they've told and what they've said, remember, Fitch is only one of the agencies. There's S&P, Standard & Poor's Agency, and Moody's. So we have to see what S&P say and what Moody say. If they were to come in and say the same as Fitch, which I'm going to tell you what they said in a second, then that would be even more confirmation that there's trouble ahead. There is issues, okay? So let's stay positive. Let's not get nervous, and let's just kick off with what the issue is. Fitch has stated there is a risk over the next three years of financial stress in the U.S. Now, I've been saying this for a while. Obviously, everyone's ignored me and not paid attention because I'm not working for one of the huge banks or pay $10 million a year like the analysts on Wall Street are. However, this is significant news. What they've said is that there is going to be financial stress. What does it mean, financial stress? It means quite simply the big banks and the second tier banks are going to go through a very, very testing period. Testing could be defined in any terminology whatsoever. Remember, going back to February, March, there was the regional banking crisis in the U.S. where you had the regional banks came under pressure, like Zions and Comerica, Charles Schwab, etc., uh, etc., cetera, et cetera, name but a few. Now, those regional banks are still under pressure. They had a run on their deposits. Obviously, you had the Silvergate affair, which was the cryptocurrency, and Signature Bank going bust, and Silicon Valley Bank going bust. And obviously, you had uh, First Republic, which was bought out. So you've got a series of events that is not yet over. In other words, the impact of those events is still being felt. Even though markets are not paying attention to it, there is a banking crisis out there. And there is a further one, a deeper one, a bigger one brewing going forward. OK, so I've said all of you look at my previous YouTubes and Instagrams. I've said around about the end of August, September, when there's huge amounts of loans that have to be repaid, they will go into default. And the regional banks, which are the banks that do provide those loans, they are the ones that are going to end up suffering after their borrowers default on those loans. So about one point four trillion dollars about. And that banking crisis is going to continue throughout the end of 2023 into 2024. Fitch has got hold of it. Fitch has done the analysis. It's a rating agency, and they've made an assessment that the U.S. is going to be financially uh, stressed, to say the least. Now, as a result of that, you're going to have a increase in the, in the uh, U.S. Treasuries bond prices uh, because there's going to be a sought after um, security safe haven. The U.S. dollar is likely to go down, and U.S. equities are now going to become much higher risk. As a result of that, markets are going to come off. That means markets are going to go down. U.S. markets are going to go down. The Dow is going to go down probably in between 5 and 7%. The Nasdaq is going to go down. S&P is going to go down. The high-tech sector, the Nasdaq and the high-tech sector is going to be pummeled because if there's no financial stability in the U.S., that is going to be a problem. So you could probably see that we've maxed out based on the Fitch's report We've maxed out on the growth at the moment. So there has to be now a nervousness and a warning, more like a hold rather than a buy. If, you're, if you've got stocks, it's a hold, not a sell. It's a hold rather than a buy. And the US dollar will continue tracking down. If the Standard & Poor's rating, rating agency and Moody's come in with the same type of downgrade, then that will be even more significant and add further confirmation to the fact that the U.S. is going to be in financial trouble. Remember, I said all along, you've got China, China that is in trouble. China is an economy that's going down. China is the biggest holder with Japan of U.S. Treasuries. They will start offloading the U.S. Treasuries and repatriating their money back to China or to Japan. It means they'll be selling dollars and buying one out Japanese yen. And therefore, you're going to have continuous fall 
in the dollar based on the present setup. So keep an eye on that. Um, for, interestingly enough, Bitcoin jumped up on the back of the news. Again, question is, is Bitcoin becoming a sort of safe haven when there is a financial crisis out there? It looks that way. It looks like it's becoming more and more accepted as some sort of safe haven when there's any type of financial stress in the markets. So keep an eye on that. You could find out that Bitcoin, if the financial crisis does bear out, you could find Bitcoin begins to accelerate up. Remember, it's been going down for the last few days. But you could find that it actually starts to creep up and starts to retrace all the way back to 30,000 and above that. Again, that's based on the news that we have at the moment. Um, markets are going to be down today in the US, Europe and in the UK. Uh, the DAX is going to have significant falls because the DAX is tech heavy and follows the NASDAQ mostly, not the Dow. So whoever is trading the DAX, keep an eye on that. Gold could be that you could see gold jumping up based again on the fact that it is a safe haven. And now that's more or less it. So expect markets now to take a shock effect and move downwards. Expect gold to move up, dollar to move down, Bitcoin may move up. That's it for now. You should share, subscribe, comment, follow, feedback, all the things that you need. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Have a good day.